This demonstration covers how to use the planer. So the planer is called a thickness planer because it's, all it does is it planes boards and makes them thinner. That is the only thing it does. The blades are located above the board in this case. So it's basically a jointer that's been turned upside down. The blades are in the center of the machine. So really, the only way to really hurt yourself is to put your arm all the way in there, almost up to your elbow, to get to the blades. So that's a nice setup. So I've never really had any major injuries on a planer. It's easy to use. Now, the difficult part about this particular planer is that it's digital. So knowing what buttons to push and what order to set up is the first step to make sure. So let's have a look at just the display to see if we can, I'll show you the order of what to press to make it into the right dimension that you're after. So now we're going to set this to its height. Now all the instructions to use this panel are right here. Now I know it's hard to read on camera, but I'll go through it step by step. First of all, if this button, this stop button is pushed in, nothing will work. I can type in all I want and it won't move until I pull that out. So make sure first that that is out, disengage. That's the first thing it says. First, disengage the emergency brake, so pull that out. Now press program, that's the yellow button. You'll see that light start flashing. Input the depth of 0.95 for a glued up board. Now the boards that we're using are not glued up, they're single pieces, I don't have anything else on them. So we go to the next one. Input the depth of 0.9 for a single thickness board. So we type in 0.9. Press the enter button. That's the arrow that's down here at the bottom. And now this is going to start to flash. And then press start. Now it only had to move a little bit because it was already at 0.9. Whoever used it last, that's where it was. Now that it's set, we run our boards through one time and then we're going to turn the knob to raise the table. So if I reach down here, make sure to engage this. This has to be pushed in and I turn it twice and it raises the table up. Now I can run it through again and then I'm done. So if you're the next person in line coming up to the machine and that is what you want, you can kind of skip some of the steps. I can go to program, of course make sure that's undone. This is what I want so I can just hit enter, start. There, and now I'm ready to go. So I could kind of skip inputting the numbers. This button right here says millimeters and inches. I can change it to millimeters, but if you do 22.86, it doesn't make a lot of sense to us because we use standard measurements. Make sure to just push that button. It's 0.9, it's just a little less than an inch. Now, uh, sometimes people put in the wrong dimension. Say they forgot the decimal point right here. Let's say I wanted 1.2 or 1. Point, yeah, whatever, anyway, 1.2 inches thick but I forgot the decimal point. Program, one, two, enter. It gives me an error because the machine only opens up to nine inches. So nothing else works. I can push all these buttons and nothing will happen until I clear this out. The clear button, if you get an error sign, press the clear and start over. The clear button is right above the enter, here. Press that, start over again, and you can finish it up. For a glued up board, it's as simple as program, 0.95, enter, start, and then the machine will raise and lower. Remember, you're only setting this for the very first pass through, and then you're using the, uh, the crank on the side, just located right there. You've got to engage it in the machine and then turn it two times. So for what we're doing is 0.9, program, 0.9, enter, hit start, and now we'll run our board through the machine for its first pass. Now that we're done setting the machine, you can simply turn it on and run them through. Now, this particular machine, you can actually run through more than one board. So, say I've got a couple of narrow strips. That's okay to run through it once, and I'll demonstrate. Now, I don't have the vacuum running, so you'll see some pieces coming out the front, uh, simply because it'll pick it up on the microphone. So, with the pieces coming out, I don't want you to stand in front ever. This is the, the most unsafe place to stand, is right in front. So, run your boards through and then stand off to the side to go get them out the back. Turn off the uh, brake, turn it on. Run it through, then run it through again. Then I would turn the knob twice and raise the table. So commonly you set it to that 0.9 that we talked about for single boards. 
Then we would raise the table two turns of the handle, flip them, and run them through again. Now I've run through as many as seven, eight, nine, even ten boards at once, one right after another, as long as they're narrow. Even with boards that are like this wide, I can run two or three fine, and that's okay. A really big board that's wide, of course you only want to do one at a time. It, it taxes the blades too much to try to run more than one through at once. So we raise the table a sixteenth of an inch. One turn of the handle on the side, it's on the right side here, is a thirty-second of an inch. So we always do it twice, and that gives us our sixteenth of an inch. Like I said, never stand directly in front because if anything does happen, the blades are pushing things out the front. So put them in there. Of course, you're standing here and then get out of the way. Get off to the side a little bit. Before we plane, if it's a, if it's a single board, you already know to set it to either 0.9 or, and then if it's a glued up, set it to 0.95. But if you have a thicker board, a thicker piece of wood, say like this, this is a uh, eight quarter bore, eight quarter wood, it should be about two inches thick, but I don't know that for sure. Then simply take a tape measure, measure how thick it is, and it's a little less than two, it came from the factory less than that. So now I can accurately set it, and I'd set it to maybe a sixteenth under two inches, you know, so one and fifteen sixteenths. All of my measurements, all of the fractions, have their decimal equivalent right here on this paper. So there's 15 sixteenths, and I can see it's equal to 0.9375, and I can type that in the machine easily. So always measure the thickness of your board if you're not certain how thick it is. The direction we put it through, and you've already seen me do it, has to be with the grain. The shortest board that can go through this machine is 10 inches long. So this is a bit longer than that. But I never want to run wood through this way. Even if I have it at least 10 inches wide, I never run it through sideways because the blades, instead of uh, like a knife shearing off the top, they get a hold of these grain lines and they actually rip it off. So if your board makes it through without snapping in half because of all the pressure on it, um, it doesn't look good. It looks jagged. You have to sand it a lot and it just doesn't look good at all. So make sure you run it through with the grain. The most common accident on this machine, like I said, has never been cut. No, no one's ever gotten their hand in the blade before, but I have seen this a lot. Let me manually lower the table a little bit. There we go, so I can get the board under. Once you stick it in there, the machine, there's a roller right here that grabs it and pulls it through. But to do that, it has to press down really hard on top of the board. And as soon as you put it in, if you put it in like this with a gap underneath and my fingers are under it, it grabs that board and slams it down on the table and I pinch the tips of my fingers and it really hurts. So I don't know if you've ever done that before, but there's a lot of nerves there that can get pinched. So make sure your hands are on top or in the back. Put it in like this, it'll slam it down and then it'll push it through. Now if you're really timid and shy at first, you'll put it in, you'll notice it'll do this and it won't pull it through it'll just go up and down if that happens don't be afraid just just give it a push with your hand just shove it in and the machine will then take it and send it through normally so it's just because you didn't push it in hard enough you need to you need to get it started first so one turn of the handle raises the table a thirty second of an inch so we do it twice uh, number eight you're allowed to put more than one board through that's fine it just depends on how wide they are number ten or nine, you never want to look directly into the machine. Now, you saw the sawdust coming out the front. Of course, I don't want to stand here be and watch that thing cut because you're just asking for pieces to hit you in the face. And that should be an obvious one. Now, if we get an error, I've already told you about what to push. You hit the clear button. So nothing else will work on here. I can't do anything with it until I clear out that uh, bad error sign. And then I just start over and input it. So the planer, overall, is a thickness changer. It changes the thickness of the board. It does not flatten the board. If this is warped when it goes in, it'll be warped when it comes out. It'll just be thinner than it was before. So taking out a warp is the job of a jointer, and I'll have to show you that in another demonstration. You can do more than one piece, so if a lot of people are lined up to do the same cut at the same thickness, turn it on and just one right after another, go ahead and push them through. It's plenty big to handle a lot of pieces. And if it's set right, it gives you a nice, flat, smooth board every single time.